Copyright 2017 Win Your Brand. All rights reserved. This video is subject to copyright owned by Win Your Brand. Any reproduction or republication of all or part of this video is expressly prohibited. Unless Win Your Brand has explicitly granted its prior written consent, all other rights reserved. Today it's uh, marketing. You're off. That's right. And the question around the table is what each one of you is looking to know in the next three hours? Because there are people who get a degree in marketing. That's right. And there are people who make MBAs on marketing strategies. So we just want to go, if you can just quickly say, okay, if what's your expectation? What do you want to know today which will help you in your current status of your offer and your business. So Mike, what do you want to know today? What will help you to know today? Uh, identifying the best place for exposure. Okay, so best place like as an, for example, for exposure. Okay, so for example, as an accounting business, you know, I, I did Google AdWords, but okay, you know, maybe social media wasn't my place. Sure, so we will look at it, not me. Comment t'as pas Comment t'as pas Je m'appelle I think just uh, if it's marketing your offer, just different marketing st strategies. Marketing that are. Okay, so marketing strategies? Yeah. Okay. Ma'am. What will help you in your business today or in whatever you're doing today? And you want to refresh, or you would like to know, as a, or you would like, or you have a question you'd like to have an answer. You may stick to any of the other two as well. You know, like it's not. Uh, How to position yourself in the market, even in regards to what to call yourself. How to position? Okay. Wow. Monsieur. Uh. The. Um, I've tried different strategies uh, to to offer what I do. It's twofold. You see, some of it is uh, it all relates to change management. So um, for me, I think the probably the wording, the model that I use as a visual wording of uh, the offer. So we call it tools. Can, we, can I call it tools? tools yeah. Okay. Fair okay, sir. I would be interested. I don't want to try my German with you, okay? Because I, Ishla Badesh is the only one I know in German, and I know that this is not a good word to use. Anyway, um, <laughs> I, I would like to uh, learn a little bit about um, advertising either on Google or um, Facebook, especially now that Facebook has changed uh, the algorithms again for uh, pages. Okay. And stuff, what shows up on social, social media. Okay. Uh, the question is what, <coughs> the topic of today is marketing your offer. Yeah. So what kind of question or what kind of information will help you to know in the next three hours, uh, which will help you with your current status of your business? Okay, online, uh, wow. Well. SEO is dead now. No, I, got, I still get uh, lots of emails from India for people offering me SEO. Patel, it's not tell. It's not dead. Says SEO is dead now. No, I, 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 I can show you. I got okay. so many emails. Uh, SEO strategy. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we can call it here uh, online uh, related. Okay. So I can just merge this. Okay. Online. Uh, sorry, what is that last word? I just do want to merge it because. Uh, he asked for a uh, SEO, okay, and here is there is a Facebook and here is there is a Google. So they are at the end of the day one pool, so one pool, right? The, so uh, it's only three hours. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, it took us 50, 10 minutes right now trying to figure out what we'll do in the next three hours. So it's okay, but uh, ma'am, Marianne, what? what? Um, I, I would like to know what kind of places I could be speaking and, 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 and giving my offer. Okay. Which is 
sort of like the same. The same like exposures. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So Shamir, can you kick an answer? Yeah. What will help you right now? I would like to learn about how to. Well, it's not. I guess it is not SEO strategy, but more about how to drive traffic. Uh, the funnel to drive traffic eventually to my event. So what are the, the steps I need to take? Obviously, we know that just putting that event up is not going to do it. Actually, it will do it for some. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Look at this guy. Always raising the bar. Beating us. Yeah. Always raising the bar. Well, okay, so uh, we we'll just have a quick question here. If we, the topic today is market your offer, what will help you in your current business today to know in this three hours or two and a half hour session now because we spend about half an hour trying to figure out what we want to do, okay? So what kind of information you like to learn or what will help you? All right, so I uh, actually mapped out, spent some time mapping out what I want to be able to do in my business. Okay. So I just need one topic to add it here to the list, or I need your agreement to any of these topics. Because this is a people out there. So we are looking for best position, strategies, how to position, tools, advantage of Google over Facebook online. I don't remember this one, but drive traffic was the third one. Initial connection, like. Um, <coughs> okay, so penetration and initial connection. Yes, that's my main point. And initial connection is related to. Uh, drive traffic, is right? Is to drive traffic. Got one more. Hmm? One more. ROI. ROI. Yeah. Open Which is account. roi in French, like means roi. the account. means the king. <laughs> so we talk, we talk about roi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. and and to be honest with you, if we play card, the jack will take the uh, tables, right? Not the roi. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. King Roi means king. king. Return on investment. Return on investment. Oh, return on investment. How much money you put, and how much money you have return, to yes. return back. Okay. Return on investment. So. The. <laughs> I don't know where to start, but before we start, we have to ask the question. Does any one of you have, at least in their mind, one product offer where he's somehow clear on the benefits and a little bit clear on the uh, features? And you must have a little bit of understanding of how much you need to get paid for. That's right. So each one around the table should have. Okay, so please focus on one because I want to do the exercises around one offer. So if you plan to offer an online system, an online training, focus on the online training. If you plan to offer what you are offering right now, focus on it. Don't try, don't attempt to uh, jump between different offers. So pick up one offer or one offer sheet and uh, from that point we can uh, start to uh, to ask the relevant question so i want to first start with the tools that's right so i want to first to start with the tool so this is the initial tool so if i may say what are the tools for marketing what are the tools for marketing in your opinion? Or what are the tools you need for the marketing? Computer. Yeah, so you need a website or a computer because you must understand you are doing marketing in few different uh, ways, through a few different media. So there is a person to person marketing. So what do you need in person to person marketing? Business cards. Business cards and maybe product brochures right Pre presentation handbook yeah oh yeah uh, uh, yeah you can do presentation uh, uh, so uh, and you may want to do a webinar uh, on person to person which means the person is in front of you that's right 
and there is what we call it online uh, approaches. So what you will need for online approaches? A blog or newsletter? You basically, you f at, at the very start, you need to have a, a, a web page or uh, I would say blog and the newsletter are a little bit uh, advanced, but you need as a very basic, you need to have a web page or you need to have a, po um, a Facebook post or a LinkedIn uh, post, is that right? You mean the email uh, or CRM? Is that part of that? Uh, email is, di is different. So if I wanna get people to know about my show or my product, I need to have an online presence for it, that's right? I need to format this to an online. Majority of us will have a website, that's right? Each one of us will have a website. So well, your website will have a page reflecting this offer, <coughs> okay? Then there, is, there are other methods, and I don't wanna call it, I don't wanna mix them as the groups, like online will include emails. Like I wanna just talk about the methods here because if you elect not to do activity like that, it's okay. But you know what? Uh, so I know that some some of you will have a phone, uh, a telephone uh, call. So if you do a, if you want to do the marketing through the phone, what do you need? A script. Beautiful. So you need a script. Okay. And for sure, you need a phone list. Okay. Like, oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute, okay? Uh, if I want to do through email, what do I need? Copy, content, less, uh, messaging. <laughs> I need messaging, yeah. I need, I need a tool to send these emails out and a tool to look after how many people will read this email. So I need an email management tool, okay? And then I need also a script and I need a format of an email. So if somebody has an Infusionsoft or has a MailChimp or has a Sendelane or what else? You are a Weber. Yeah, a, a, a Weber. I, I heard of one that, I'm, that I just heard of, but I don't know much about it. It's called redapple.buzz. Leave it with the buzz. Huh? Leave it with the buzz. I will like, leave it with the buzz. We'll like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, just to speak out on that. Um, uh, you know, you, you hear about DeepleSoft, that's right? Did you hear about DeepleSoft before? Mm -hmm. So what's your feeling when you know there is a company using DeepleSoft against this company using uh, uh, Microsoft tools or uh, built-in tools? Which one you respect more? DeepleSoft. Why? Well, DeepleSoft. Like, if, if I'm using DeepleSoft, why will you respect me more? More than Microsoft tools? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's some Microsoft is very focused in niche market. Okay. So this is a very important uh, answer and point you have to understand. In this market of email, there is one or two tools which everybody, the rich people, the people who makes money, they use it. One of them is called Infusionsoft. Full stop. If you cannot afford it, you can use eWaper, you can use... Uh, because eWeber also is widely used, MailChimp is widely used. Constant Contact. Uh, Constant Contact is widely used. Um, but if you wanna try a brand new tool, uh, you are basically wasting your time and your money and your energy because majority of why this tool did not make it through. So if you are serious about it, like I told you the story before, I, I bought something which I have no use for, I have no business. At the time, when I time I, I bought Soft, I had no business. The guy said it about $4,000 a year. I said, in all of my businesses, I used to pay my front receptionist $4,000 a month, or somewhere between $2,500 to $4,000 a month. And this tool is $4,000 a month. And it will be, I pay this a month, this is a year, $4,000 a year. And it does more than my receptionist. It give me my accounting back, it give me sales stuff on my behalf. And it's doing so many things. Did I have a business? No, I didn't have a business. I bought the tool and they keep bugging me to set it up, but I could not set it up because I didn't have a business. Six months later, I figured out what I wanna do. 
and I put it to the tool and it evolved. And every time, and this was way before Win Your Brand, by the way. So when we started Win Your Brand, we found it's very natural to use. Yeah, it's uh, three, four, five hundred dollars a month. However, it delivers. So when you look at these tools, look at tools which is used. Uh, there are lots of developers and lots of web developers will tell you uh, constant contact or eweep or any of this stuff because they basically on the back end they take a commission out of it. Uh, however, none of these tools delivered. And did not deliver for somebody who's building an international program. We are not aware of this, any of these tools delivered. There is, there is a, a tipping point though. I agree with you that if, if Ubisoft is the, the thing, but a lot of the startup businesses or people who are just getting into this thing, they don't think there's an easy entry. They think it's free. They can feel their way. Yeah, yeah. I, I, this, I, I don't discount the fact is you need to have something for free to start with within the first 1,000 to 2,000 uh, contact. I don't disagree with you. I was there one time. I was there so many times looking for anything to boost my business. But you must build, build in your brain that if it works, you have to switch as soon as you can. And uh, by the way, I don't get any money from uh, yeah. Infusionsoft, I'm not even a partner with them. I was offered, I I'm not a partner with them. I help people setting it up and play, up, play with it based on my knowledge because I'm not in this business. Um, however, this is the tool which can sell. If you are selling online and you are doing so many few things online, if you accumulate the headache and uh, the opportunities loss and the crashing and uh, the, bug, the debugging and the money you pay for somebody to set up all of these five tools, you will find just investing in one tool, use it yourself, it's much convenient, more convenient. So when you are in that stage, when you, be, when you have capacity to spend more than $100 a month, because right now the lower, the low entry now is yeah, about 100 I, I wouldn't even, go, like if you move, like if you're going, like if you're scaling up from constant contact, for example, and you go into the thing, that $99 a month, is the same, like it, it doesn't give you anything more. I think if you really want to be serious about infusion stuff, you should consider three hundred dollars uh, a month as a, as just a, a starting yeah. point because you want to put the CR uh, the uh, e-commerce in there too. Otherwise, it's not that useful. Yeah. But it's it's a very powerful. I mean, I had exactly what I did before I had the business. I I went into that <laughs> because I, I just I'm a process guy. Right? No, no, I know, I know. Just uh, just uh, something to know. So. Um, we, we had before discussions here around these tables about what people use and there is something called the uh, send lane and the uh, send lane is like $10 a month uh, rec using it not the, not the rec you mentioned the other rec yeah rec titan is using it um, so just to pick up a tool if you have the tool I think it's good because you can transfer the tools over so if you use MailChimp or Contact Contact you can transfer all your contacts over just make sure you keep the audit trails uh, yeah. proper yeah Okay, so this is our uh, venues where you should you must create some tools based on your uh, brochures. There is also another venue which called posting. So the value the venue of posting will work. You have posters to go around. So I ran uh, a complete uh, workshop on uh, marketing, and the marketing was actually in all uh, coffee shops, and uh, it's just called posting. Yeah, posting means you have a, pa a print paper, you go, you post it to the wall, and that's it. Very simple. Yes, inside this tape, inside this uh, offer, you must have a call to action or how people will sign up. You must have few things, okay? Like, I'm not, uh, we are just, there's so many things to talk about. We just wanna focus on uh, venues. So, <coughs> are you okay with these five different venues? So, uh, a person-to-person -person venue, which can be through uh, presentations, through webinars, through discussions. You have to have a poster to give it, to leave it behind. There is another venue which is called online, which basically you can have a web page, you can have a Facebook post, a blog, uh, w something to talk about it. And then you have the phone, which basically you, you call up phones and you have a script for the phone. Um, you have the email list, which basically you send emails out. And you can, I can have a simple thing, which basically posting. So 
if you uh, are regional, if your activity is regional, <coughs> or your activity like uh, entrepreneurship activity, there are entrepreneurship centers. You they have a community thing. You can go and post it there. Maybe for change management is not relevant. Uh, but if you do stuff in Alberta Health Region, for example, there is a community board where you can post the stuff over there. If you do stuff which will attach to students, the student, all campuses, they have uh, a posting facility. Uh, I remember uh, one, one day was one business, we asked to go to do a posting because we were interested to talk to the manager, not to do the posting. And the asking for posting was one way. So you go ask for the posting, you end up being in front of the management manager assistant. So what are you doing? Why? And you end up actually offering to have a meeting with the manager to describe what you do is not what you want to post. So. The door opener. Uh, call it whatever, okay? To the door opener, creative uh, marketing, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we, you must have a plan in mind to do all, um, if you want to do this, you must have a plan in mind. The question is how it is difficult to go from a brochure to an online? Apparently it's not difficult because if you know Microsoft Word and you do your brochures in Microsoft Word, you can always save it to something called HTML and you can borrow one of these young kids and he can put it on your website. It's not hard. It might be the, or not the optimal view, but it's not hard. Like, like it's not a three, four hundred dollars uh, investment. Okay. However, I, I know different people around their table have different uh, uh, technology, their technology savvy and stuff like that. So the point I want to make is not too difficult to do any of this. How many of you here will post on uh, Facebook or LinkedIn? That's right. Almost everybody. That's right. So it's, it's, it's much simple. It's a very simple way, but you have to be able to focus on these uh, marketing, uh, like, you know, don't come and say, I'm, I'm, uh, going, I'm going online and I only send a PDF file because I don't have a page. There are people who are doing online stuff with PDF, which I'm not sure how, okay? The question is which one of these strategies you must use? Sorry? Three. Why? Well, there's different markets. There's different. So which one you decide? Yeah. You, which one you decide on? Which one to use? Web page for sure. One I use is web and email. Email is the the most productive, but I haven't built up a system yet. Okay, just for you to know, on email, the opening rate right now is going uh, around twelve percent opening rates of emails is going lower and lower. I uh, I was uh, without a contact for three days and I got close to 12,000 emails. Oh. And uh, guess what happened? The, yeah, the 35 phone calls I got, I did not even get through them yet, so. Uh, and this is typical of anybody. How many of you here will get more than 100 email a day? Uh, yeah, so why did you subscribe to all of these junk emails? <coughs> I got a friend who sent me a tool to unsubscribe junk email. Jeff Nelson has new software and it showed me I had 123 subscriptions I didn't know for the last three years because I follow all these people. Right? Yeah. And it automatically helps you delete them. <laughs> yeah. So, so when you have person to person, when you have online, when you have phone, when you have email, when you have postings, you have to consider that. You have to understand the uh, play field, okay? So coming back to the question, which one of these, which one of these you would like to use? Well, I use phone and web and brochure, but in a, se in a sequence, so. You will, uh, you will uh, figure out that you are basically using it all. And this is a secret. So if uh, you will be using it all, you need to be ready for all. 
Do you agree or do you think it's all? Do you agree or do you think it's all? No. Why? Well, I guess for the online presence, I don't know why I feel like you could choose where your audience would be instead of being on Facebook and LinkedIn. I am not talking about Facebook where you will be. What I'm saying is there is a person to person. There is an online which may include web page or whatever. It can include any of these. It's okay. called just a tool. Okay, there is a f the fifth, the third venue is a phone. The fourth venue is email. The last venue is just posting on a wall, some uh, wall ad. And my proposition here is you will be using the five. There is no way for you to not use the five. Because if I will go, if I will tell uh, you that I do have my workshop coming, what you will tell me is great. Can you give me a brochure to pass it over to my friend? Or can you give me a brochure to sign it, right? Yeah. Uh, if you, if, if I would, uh, okay, majority of our, will, how, how will we sign up now? Majority of us will sign up online. If I will tell you, I, uh, I have my web, uh, here is the adver advertising for my uh, new marketing tool, sorry, for my new workshop, and I will send you an email with it. Most likely I will follow up with a phone. Yeah. And the email will point out to what? To our page. And when you have the event itself, what will happen? You will need to have some posting that the event is here. And banners. And banners. Okay. So it's overwhelming to think about the five or to consider five, but this is the reality. Okay. So you start one or two and you end up having a plan for the five. Um, so what the tool will include? The tool will include the following. It will include uh, maybe an image, uh, which will include the benefits, the features, call to action, dollars, uh, images, and uh, if the tool is uh, in person, you will need to have a form to fill for credit card collections. If the tool is online, you need to have a merchant account or be able to go to uh, pay your money, maybe through What's the tool? Um, PayPal or whatever. Okay, that's right. You need to have a subscription. If um, if somebody on the phone and he will sign up on the phone, you need to have a merchant account. So maybe Square or whatever you will use. And if somebody on email, you can send them the PayPal. If somebody on posting, you may direct them to the online. Okay. The only thing I would recommend, if you have somebody in front of you and is ready, you must have the tool. So you don't, oh yeah, you're ready to go to the website because they will never go. If you have somebody in front of you, you give them the signing sheet. Okay? Any more discussions you want to expand on the tools? By the way, the tools is also called invitations. How you, invi called invitations. How you invite people to an event. <coughs> so... So, invitation. How many of you has a product sheet he is ready <coughs> to produce right now? Yeah, so, each one of you has must have at least a view of an invitation or a tool which will fit this capacity, right? <coughs> okay. Well, what do you think about each expert? Sorry? If somebody's on email. Uh, what I know that's asking people to take one extra step will send them away from you. Okay? Like, uh, if I did not stop with somebody around this table, if I did not stop, uh, uh, <laughs> if I did not wait for like 45 minutes to half to one hour, the e transfer wouldn't come. Because e transfer will take 45 minutes to one hour mm. uh, for you to get the money. However, if uh, I will ask you to do an e-transfer, you know what does it include? It includes giving them my email and the sharing uh, security answer or security uh, something security password or whatever, right? Uh, so if you have a subscription model, yes, people can subscribe and they can pay some payment by e-transfer, but it's a hassle. Like, do you agree it's a hassle? 
it's hassle for you to go to your computer, to go to your account, to to open this. Like I don't know what's my bank account's password, by the way. Yeah, if, if it's not on the computer, I, I use it, I don't know it. So I had situations before when somebody just say, okay, I'm just wiring you the money and they send me an email and the money was there for like four days. And I got phone calls now, why are you not getting your money? I said, I, I will get it by the end of the week. And they didn't understand because I was basically traveling and I didn't have the computer which has a password for my bank account. And I don't want to reset my password. Yes. Now, will you call somebody and give them the password to do the transaction on your behalf? The answer is no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <coughs> the email transfer has to do with the workshop that you're setting up. You can always have them email transfer you as one of your options, but don't forget you should have a PayPal. Because they prefer. I would actually ask them to, I will leave it to, uh, like, uh, I, I may, uh, I disagree with giving them too many options. Like, uh, but I would have to say is, uh, and don't, don't get it wrong. Uh, when you do an email transfer from money perspective, from cash flow perspective, which one for you is good as a business? To accept the email transfer or to, or to, or to charge credit cards? Email transfer. Why? Because it's instant. It's a direct deposit. What else? You're, On the, you're not paying the credit card fees. You're not paying the credit card fees, that's right. So the money will be usually available. On, uh, if you get it after 6 o'clock at night, the money will be available on the next day. And you'll have this funny what, email transfer. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's available immediately. No, no. <laughs> Actually, it is. No, 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 no. no. Oh, no, with no. my with my CIBC. It no. Is. no, no, no. <laughs> You're saying that, but it is. I had the experience. I've got, I've got full access. As soon as no, can not 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 when it be six. What? Like like it was CIBC to CIBC. No. It not was that. it was CIBC to CIBC. No. I don't want to talk about more details. It was CIBC to CIBC. And when, when, when it was initiated, when it was received, they said the money will be available on the next day. I've never seen that before. I can show it to you. <laughs> I've actually had an email okay. transfer. We had it, my friend. We had the experience two days ago, that's right? Yeah. That's right. This is what, this is what I'm experiencing. Yeah. This is what happened. It, it, it was available so after 70% of my clients pay by email transfer and the money's there instantly. Before, because you get it before six o'clock. You do the acceptance before six o'clock. What right. happened, what happened, is from six o'clock to midnight. Yeah. They don't accept. They they posted on the account after midnight. The, it will be posted here, but the cash will be available after midnight. So when they say like you have like uh, six thousand dollars, but the cash available is that uh, is five thousand something like this. Okay. So yeah, but away from these details. If people wants to sign up, you must make it simple. That's right. If it's one extra step, what will happen? Move on. Yeah, so that's why uh, credit card is more effective is more effective uh, for businesses because you already pay three percent as a cost of uh, doing business. You save your customer, and the credit card will just go on automatic automatic way. And there's um, another small consideration for clients is that sometimes they have flashback credit cards, so they want to. And uh, if he, who here doesn't have a way to charge credit cards? Like each one of you can ch can charge credit cards, right? If you don't have a way to charge credit card, it means what? You are not in business. So uh, sign up for uh, Square. It's a free services. Does not cost you anything. Uh, sign up to PayPal. I remember one friend, uh, one customer. He became a friend. Uh, later on, he basically will uh, take your information and uh, run it through a PayPal. So he will pay the PayPal invoice on your behalf. This is what's just simple. So if you stand in front of your customers and you say, I don't have a credit card, just pay me by check, you are in the version, in the version of being small. Yes, sir. Uh, QuickBooks has been uh, advertising quite a bit that they will take care of all the invoicing and I have no experience with QuickBooks. Yeah, I, I use I use the Merchant Services. Oh, do they have a, yeah. In yeah. fact, they're switching right now to Square. They they used to do their own in-house, and they're transitioning to use Square as their back-end merchant service. Through QuickBooks. Yeah. Actually, Square and uh, WePay are the fast uh, uh, the fast-growing uh, merchant services are uh, Square and WePay. 
Stripe is a new one which also came, but uh, the, uh, we, we pay the one who got major investments right now. <coughs> oh no, you can do everything. You can. The only thing you cannot do in, in Infusionsoft is when they charge your customers the money, you have to pay them the subscription from a different way. So they're like, why just don't charge these guys and just take, take your cut? They said, we don't do that. So this is the only thing, this is the only thing I could not do. It. But in Fusion Soft, you can do lots of things. But as I said, like it's a three, four hundred dollar a month investment. So if you don't make uh, 40, 50 thousand dollar a year, it doesn't make, it's not justifiable. How much do you have to make? These tools has to be. <laughs> Break even, These tools to has to be 10 or less percent. Like these tools has to be less than 10% of your investment. So if you spend $4,000 on any tool, you must be able to make $40,000 plus. That's right. Does it make sense for you to buy a management tool less than 10%? More well, than 10%? That makes sense though, no. as if you're, what you said, I mean, the impression of Infusionsoft is pretty powerful, so if you want to get to a point where you make a hundred thousand dollars a year, yeah, you can. But uh, my point is, when you make a decision to invest in a tool, because you can have the the free merchant tools, that's right. Mm -hmm. So the minute you start to make twenty, thirty thousand dollars a year, you can shift to this tool with the hope to make minimum forty, fifty to a hundred. There are people who make millions on it, and they pay, they spend. And also this tool will come with so many, like uh, two, three hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollars are the entry level. The guys, I, I work with the guy some time, long time, where his monthly bills will be about 60 some thousand dollars a month. Because the way people are managing these tools for him, but he has more than a couple of hundred thousand contacts and he sells more than that a month. If you want to make a million dollars, it means you sell a hundred dollars a month. So these guys are uh, in this level and they spend, f because there are so many people who will come and do an, uh, an optimization and do a few things here and there. So having the tools and the management, it can, it can be very expensive. And I know a couple of other guys, they do have an in-house employees that exclusive work is on Infusionsoft. One of them has three people just working on Infusionsoft. So he rents the tool and he spends another $200,000 a year on people just doing the tools for him, or 250, something like that. Because he created 20 some million dollars business with, with, within this tool. That's the same as SAP. It's the same as everything. Yeah. It's the same as everything. It's not the same as everything, no. The point is the same as, is the same like everything. Like if you are making lots of money, you can invest in the tools, okay? Any more questions here? Now, we want to go back and say, so do you agree that we covered a little bit of the tools? Um, I want to talk about, uh, I want to talk about the, uh, let's talk about the, ex the exposure because we have exposures in so many areas. Uh, so, <coughs> so who are the audience? Who are your uh, targets <coughs> with these marketing tools? So to understand the targets, we have to go back to our model, which basically people will be customers here paying money. They will be clients. They will be prospects. They, sorry, uh, they'll be a prospect lead, target audience, audience, and general. Okay. So um, this is our. There are few things here as well. Okay. So here there is a few, uh, three different levels. So what is the goal of the marketing tool? Sorry? Exposure. It can be exposure or it can be what? Uncertain. With the call to action, it will be what? It will be selling. Sign up. Sign up, okay? So there are two, two roles for any marketing tool. 
the first marketing tool, the easiest one is to sign up. And the second one is what? Is to get them into conversation. So I would like to get them into discussion here, right? LP, lead and prospect. That's right. So if I if I send you an invitation for a seminar, workshop, webinar, which one of these? What what will be the target of this invitation? <clears throat> Either you to sign up, or you to have more questions, right? For more information, email and call us, right? Is there any other way? Is there any other reason for us to send you a marketing material? The free web paper is to have the discussions, right? Yeah, exactly. <coughs> so the, do you agree there's no, most likely there is no other reasons for me to send you a marketing material? So the marketing material is to intrigue discussion. How we can do the discussion? We can have the discussion over phone. We can have it over uh, web uh, servers. Or we can have it uh, in person, that's right? Person to person, that's right? So I can send you an invitation and then I follow up with a phone call. Remember when you talk about how we can initiate, that's right? But, uh, so if I want to initiate, how I can initiate? I can send an email, and then I can follow up by a phone call. Did you receive my email? I can send you an invitation by letter, by mail, or I drop the invitation, and then I will get a phone call. So because I want to address part of the question, how to initiate, how to start, which one you prefer? You prefer to make a phone call out of the blue or to drop first few flyers and then make a phone call strategy one or strategy two which one of these two strategies which is dropping some sort of flyers and then follow up with a phone call why do you like strategy two because people are prepared for your phone call and they uh, tend to be more open to listen if you ask even if you would go like house to house and have something dropped in there um, they've seen it before and this has already created a connection in their in their brain. So when you call, um, and they remember, it's an easy entry to keep them on the line for longer and discuss in more depth, rather than being uh, cut away by the gatekeeper. If it's a business, it's also if the gatekeeper didn't receive this, then um, there's a, another reason to follow up, and you can send an email. So you keep the discussion um, for longer. Anybody wants to contribute to this particular point or debated? Strategy number one is to make a phone call. Strategy number two is to drop a package or a flyer and then follow up with a phone call. Some people just throw a flyer away. Sorry? Some people just throw the flyer away. It's always. Uh, How many people read flyers? Sorry? How many people read the flyers? It doesn't matter what's the reaction from their side. The question is, should I make a blind, a bl a, a cold call by a phone call, or should I drop first a package, like a flyer or a so business debate. card? So, debate. So, debate. So, people, <laughs> so make the phone call, people just throw the flyer away. No, no, I think what, I think what you're saying is if you're, you would hand the flyer in person, it's not person to person. So oh, it's not, not the person to person, I would just to go. Uh, mailbox? Uh, mailbox, or I will go, uh, office to office and just drop the flyers. Okay, here's a, here, this is flyers for the managers. And then a week later, I will make a phone call. Right, and I think, I, I, I kind of like that. I think agreeing with you, I think when you do that, that's what I mean by first, 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 first Yeah. is you actually walk in there and you look at the secretary and say, hey, here's a, here's a flyer, I'd like you to pass it on to the manager. Who's your manager, by the way? Uh, this is an extra. This is an extra. Who is? No, yeah, but who is your managers? And this is an extra activity you can do. Yeah. But even mailing a flyer, like just even if you mail it first, and then you follow on a phone call, this will give you few excuses. If you if the answer is I did not get the flyer, what's your response to the phone call? Oh, I'll send you another one. 
I'm sending. Yeah, let me bring it to you. I will send you another one, or and then I will call. I will follow up with you. Yeah, in the next thirty seconds, I'll tell you what's on the flyer. Yeah, or okay. So also, go ahead. Um, you have those before people take action. You have those at least seven points of uh, or seven times of, of seven touches. Seven points of contact. contacts. Yeah, they are not seven. They are more than twenty yeah, so some. That's twelve. Now. <laughs> are more than twenty some. Okay. The point I want to make is. Or without my point so why people don't do that this is one point but let's just okay so if we want to have the flyers coming in for discussion or for sign up i can send the flyers the following question will be is should i send a paper flyer or should i send an email first first yeah so like we said you will put a flyer in so you have one touch and then you make a, you, you grab the phone uh, it does have to be a flyer or it can be an email so which one which which one should we do should we send an email first why not both okay so we have three levels level number one send a flyer level number two send an email and the level number three send both so we have three points of discussion right now which one what are the advantage disadvantage of the one of each one of those and by the way, we are not here to, argue, to agree, and uh, we are here not to argue as well. We are here to discuss uh, viewpoints of different individuals. Yes. However, it's your own business, and uh, you are the one responsible for it. So you pick up from these discussions what you like, and please, if you don't like any, jump in the discussion, and we will give you enough time to express, debate, and discuss your point of view with the potential of showing you are wrong or with the potential of knowing that the discussion we, we proposed was wrong. So there is no, do you agree on this? Yeah. Yeah, so just for debate. So point number one is I send a flyer. Point number two is can I send an email? And the third, the last one was why we don't do both. So which one do you think it's, it will give a better results? Sending a flyers or sending an email? Well, neither one. If I didn't meet you in person first, this goes to junk mail. Yeah. The poster, the flyer that I get in my mailbox, on my doorknob, okay, thank you, bye. And I get an email. I got so many freaking emails, I don't know this guy, delete, delete, delete. I want to meet you. I wouldn't be here today if I hadn't met you in person in that networking event. Okay, so this is a specific dynamics of a specific market of a, of a group of people so i agree with what you said for a specific line of business but not all of us around the table are within this line of business like a roofer for instance okay so, so like from a roofer a roofer okay. or a trainer on your, or your on your other side like a trainer who will not train the management who will basically train uh sales people however it might be to your advantage to send first a folder about your service to the managers and the folder is acting is exactly the same definition as a flyer okay so if you want to send a folder or a corporate resume or whatever you call it it's a flyer uh, in, in this context it's just sheet of it's a piece of information going printed okay so is it better to send the, fl the package first and then follow up with a phone call or a request for meeting or from the uh, out of the blue just uh, request a meeting okay then i would send the, uh, the the flyer first the flyer which basically can be a folder it can be a full yeah, it can, folder whichever. whatever okay then they, like you said they can prepare for because on your flyer you can say i'll be calling in two days yes and, and because we also days. said here that there is a call to action within this package that's right the second the question we discussed right now is do you like to do this on via an email or in a person or you would like to do it in both I
sort of based on how they respond? So then no, because you don't have phone numbers of everybody on the email. Generally, you don't. No, but when you, oh, sorry, I meant the flyer one. Are you talking about the flyer one or the phone I'm saying, it, uh, I'm talking about you send the email out. Yeah. And then you have. You so if you send the email out, I will I will say there is castle. No, no. no. You, you, yeah, it, it's okay, so if I send an email out, business to business, it's not a, not a there is a castle issues here. If it's business to business, it's not a castle issue. If, if, you're, if you're sending the businesses, if they publish their email address online, uh, it's, you're okay to send it. Uh, no, no, you're not. no, you are not. Yes, you are. On you are not. For lawyers, for example, for lawyers, you are not. So lawyers will publish their uh, emails on their websites. Yeah. You cannot approach them with marketing for website development for lawyers. Because the reason for them to publish their emails is for them to get customers. So this castle thing has lots of... Uh, a few gray areas, yeah. For consumers, I agree with you. The point I want to make sure you understand here is the following. If I will start sending a, a package or sending an email or sending both, it's a function of my business. Function of what can I do? So I know like uh, I know like Denise, for example, she went in there, she gave them the flyer, they hired her as an instructor. Okay. And once she gives them the proposal and she talked to them. So if you are local here, people expect to see you in person, that's right? right. However, if you go and drop everything and they will know that you are a one-man show it may show you are small, okay? So when you go drop this material, please uh, don't dress nicely, okay? Dress nicely for the job, not for the, for the business, okay? So uh, both of them doesn't matter. I believe email and brochures is too much. You mean? Too for much. That, for that first touch? For this first touch. I believe this is too much. Are you talking business to business or are you talking business to consumer here? I'm talking about the businesses you guys are working in. No, I mean when you actually use the marketing strategy to deliver uh, flyers or emails, are you talking about our target audience is a bi another business? Or Most likely it's another business. Somebody has an office. So that's what we're saying. It's another business. So it's another business. In that case, the strategy is different, yeah. Or it's a house. Like there are people here who can send this to the house. How many of us will get this roofer or this, uh, sorry, uh, not roofer, the student painting? Students painter, you get the flyers, and sometimes, and after uh, two or three weeks, you get somebody knock on the door and say, "We put our flyers in the mail a, a, a week ago." Yeah, I, I agree with that approach because you, you don't really don't have their email address even if you wanted to. Okay. Now you. Ca Question. Right now, I, I thought we talked about a discussion with qualified leads and, and prospects. If we talk about like going around, dropping the flyers everywhere, yeah. then we're Further somewhere somewhere audience. between general and yeah. and okay. maybe targeted. And this will be my second point. Is like my next point after we finish this discussion. This will be my next point. Who is the target audience? Okay. Here we are talking about how we do it, not who is the target audience, right? So uh, because you ask about how to initiate that, so the initiations can be just a flyer, where you can send, you can mail, you can. Uh, Drop, you can, uh, actually you can use LinkedIn. Is there any problem of going on LinkedIn and just have the discussion? So LinkedIn will be equivalent to an email. That's right. How many of you here will get on their LinkedIn profile a request for an SEO uh, uh, permission to give an SEO proposal? Well, you right. can do a fire video on LinkedIn too. Okay. So, but how many of us got some information on with a business, oh, yeah, sure. Bitcoin, oh, yeah. and I wanna, I, actually I may, I may start a new business called Bitcoin, which is much bigger than Bitso. <laughs> I missed out a whole bunch from Nigerian uh, royalty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The gas yeah. people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're yeah. inherited 100 million pounds. You know, uh, I'm still waiting to cash in my dinero. You know the <laughs> funniest things I heard about it in uh, Bitcoin domain was uh, four or five weeks ago that uh, one of these uh, Sharia people, Who? the Sharia people in, uh, Sharia people, yeah. yeah, they said that it's not a Sharia compliant because the money is not going to the state. The money is going somewhere else. Well, you have to be, uh, give uh, 10% or It's not 10%. They said like when you invest, yeah. the, the, the banks are controlled by the state. Oh, okay, right, right. 
But uh, because this the money is going to a private people, it's not a Sharia compliant, which basically, oh, it, 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 it's a very funny definition because nobody asked, like it's an investment package, but it was very interesting. So this Bitcoin is, I don't know when it will blow and, and what will. Dive? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, the guys in, um, there are actually some coffee shops in town uh, right yeah. now. Coffee? Yeah, he charges, uh, you, you can pay by Bitcoins. But like 1 to the 10 to the minus 3 Bitcoin for coffee or something? Okay. I don't yeah. know. It's like an like ATM basket. No, not away from the ATM. They had the ATM, but they never had a situation where you can pay for your coffee and order with Bitcoins. Right now, yesterday he sent a message out, he said, you can uh, now pay for your orders from Waves Coffee with Bitcoins. Uh -huh. And they were doing it in Dubai in Dubai Airport as well. You can pay, you can buy stuff with Bitcoins. So. Anyway, uh, I, I want to launch the Bitcoin, which is a big currency. No? Do you need, do, do we have, does anyone have any other question on this particular area? Which one you will lead first with? Well, it, it, it confused me because as Marcel pointed, you're talking on the on the lead prospect, so you're you're talking on the already the interested parties, but the discussion was moving away from that, just going in general, as a first touch. The first touch should it be by a, a phone call or should be a for sure first or an email first, then a phone call. So are they a qualified lead or no 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 they are here, they are here. The target of the marketing material is to lead to discussion or lead to sign up. But a phone call would only be, let's say, targeted audience because you've made the decision to pick this phone number this people to, here. to call it, to call that personal business. So the marketing material goal is to create a discussion or to create a sign up. So your primary target will be your audience over your journal, over, over your general, or your current customers who you want to get them to sign up to the new service. This makes sense? So we did not discuss who are the, the ultimate audience of the marketing tool yet. What we ask is what the marketing tool will include. It say, uh, we said it will include the product offer, maybe an image, a hook, benefits, features, call to actions, and the dollar value for people to pay. We, d we explained it will be person to person, so you must have a form of it like a written, a printed uh, brochures. We also talk about it can be online, so you should have a web, an online tool. It can be a phone, so you must have a principle of what scripting will happen. You don't need to write the script, but if you are aware of the potential dialogue, you can. It can be an email follow up or sent by email, and you also will need to consider posting it in a specific locations if you if you need to, like social clubs, uh, ATB Entrepreneurship Center, uh, Wave Cafes, uh, Starbucks, any community center, any community. So you missed my question. Where is the message on the next page? Where is the message that we're going? Are we putting it out to the general? Or are we putting it? We did not lead? describe it yet. This will be as a following point. I will I will talk because about that. That determines <coughs> how which ones you're going to use down below. If a you're wave? Just, if you're going to do a brochure and just drop off, you're going to go for the general. Whereas if it's a, a qualified leader prospect, you, they, you're, you might not do a brochure at that point at all. Because you, you need, yeah. Or you might do a folder, a folder brochure like for change management where you yeah. introduce yourself and you know, you're know putting so together a $10 In the package. discussions, we did not talk about who are the targets yet. We talked about the ways first. So if you want to promote new thing or you want to promote old things, Always consider sending the brochures down first and the follow up by a phone call because this is might be easy way. If people are away for in the different cities, you have no other options than emails. Because if I want to talk to somebody in uh, Toronto and I'm in Calgary, I can either mail them the brochure by a Canada Post or I can send them an email. But if you are local, and you send the local, you do you work with local business, you should consider going around and drop your business card or your brochure and follow up with a discussion.
okay now you jump you guys jump in the head and say <coughs> who are the ultimate targets or who are the um, people who will be targeted by this particular pursuit so if the pursuit if you agreed in the principle that the pursuit will create discussion here and the potentially will create a sign up here where are who are the ultimate audience of my for sure it will be somewhere in this area which basically general over audience or returned customers who I want them to start create dialogue about my new offer or a client who I want him to sign up for this offer Make sense? Or the leads here who I want them to sign up for the offer because a lead will get my for sure, he still need to have a signing sheet to write down his credit card, that's right? Does it make sense? So all of these will need a, a printed for, for sure. It can be a PDF, you don't need to print, it can be a PDF, but I want to make sure before we leave today that each one of you should have cons serious consideration to create a brochure, not only an online signing tool. Okay? Do you guys want some more discussion on this? Part? Brochure covering what? Your offer. Covering the offer? Yeah, which basically... What is the benefits of the offer? What kind of features people will get? Call to action, dollar value if you would like to have it. Some maybe some images, you can talk about hooks, how to connect with them, but you, this main component you should have, and then you should have also the, the triggers there, which is uh, the, the wording can so match. just putting it in an email isn't, isn't sufficient? You want a PDF? Putting it in an email, no, no, putting it in an email is sufficient for this, for this venue. But when I come to this venue, I have to print the email. Okay. So I don't want you to, conf because there are so many people, so many outside will say, uh, you don't do paper marketing anymore. Everything is going online. Everything is moving online. Uh, you know what? I have been in a different community for the last three days. And I was shocked that only one of them said, oh yeah, I looked your profile online and everything you gave it to me, it was actually over there. I said, oh, that's great. Uh, people don't even have a LinkedIn profile. And these are people making it a few hundred thousand dollars a year income. But majority of the professionals are not online. Majority of the professionals, doctors, engineers, they are not even online. Many of them will have LinkedIn profile because they were trying it out sometime long time ago and they never been online. It's only us because we are being, I'm not sure why. So this online, um, this whole online strategies need to be con have a serious consideration based on your market. So I don't know how many construction constructors, construction. So to be constructor, okay? <laughs> how many builders or how many construction company, their management will be actively active online? Or advertising their uh, to to receive to receive information from the online domain. Uh, the um, they have somebody looking at what comes in emails yeah. and everything else and and it's a very uh, some of the people looking at these things are not experienced yeah. in the industry and the screening is kind of uh, not very efficient so the, don't discount the classical way because people in the industry not in all the industries are available online mm -hmm. yes sir Along those lines, when you do have your website design, make sure it's responsive because a lot of people are checking your website on mobile phones now. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. It's uh, more than ninety percent of users. Yeah. So make sure. Uh, yeah. It's not. A, it's not a lot. <laughs> ninety percent. <laughs> Actually, there are some statistics about how many of us will still use a standard computer to do any, and how many of us will have a computer at home. 
So if you don't have kids in schools, uh, most likely you don't have a computer at home. If you don't uh, do co computer stuff, if you don't do like web, de web, web development, uh, or many of us stop having comp buying computers for home. And they depend on uh, iPad, iPhone kind of thing. I was with a, with, a, with a manager high up in the chain. He is uh, 300 plus, he has 300,000 plus a year salary. And everything he runs through his iPad. He doesn't even have, like his office was funny because just a, a glass desk and three chairs, that's it. There is no bookshelves, there is nothing. And the glass desk has uh, the glass desk has very few things, and uh, his assistants keep everything they they have to. And he has he has like a clean desk, a clean office kind of approach. Like there is nothing there which is. And the minute we start to talk, he brought in a, a a decent iPad, not the pro, not the big ones, a very a decent size iPad. And he started with all the notes there, and that's it. And he, he's, a, he's a, I believe he's 50, mid 50s, so he's not a junior. So there are people who don't have computers at all. So if you don't have a, if you don't have a work on computers, you will not have a computer. So having outside responsive is the way to go. Yeah. Having an HTML5, even we talk about the HTML5, <coughs> which basically is a version of the website will take actions on mobile, like make immediate phone calls and stuff like that. This is also another approach. We have been seeing it right now, coming across. And voice activated websites, I heard. Voice activated, I, uh, I went back and I had uh, at, at my, my, uh, my competitor at home, 12 years old, he got, he got Google. So I just have Google now watching me. So he talked to Google and Google tells him everything. <laughs> and yesterday we said, uh, Google, would you mind calling you uh, uh, Alicia, the Amazon Alexa. product? Alexa. Alexa? Yeah. She said, Google said, oh, this is really nice. And uh, it's a, uh, uh, <coughs> Alexa is a good name. However, it will be confusing. So it was very interesting training from Google company. That if you ask about combatant, how nicely they will respond. So, do we need to talk more about this? Everybody now is on board on this particular marketing tool. We so, have, like Fox Broadcast, <coughs> years ago, in Calgary and Express, people still do that? Or they send something through Fox? Yep. Like the old format. It's like I one page. Yep, I do that. It goes out through my email, though. Right. Yeah. My right. fax is all tied into my email. Uh, fax is coming in, come in an email PDF. And I email out because we have to communicate by fax to CRA. Okay. Goes that way. And I also do, I've done some marketing with fax also. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, because we've been back to Cal Cal Calgary to do that. I still have clients that way too. Okay. So um, you should be able to uh, pick up your, your strategies based on as this initial phase, you want to do it in this way or this way. So I will just say we could cover this one. Uh, we'll how does somebody get a bachelor's in marketing? Sorry? How does somebody get a bachelor's in marketing? What would it cover as opposed to just these are the different options that we have? Which ones are we going to do? Like what are the levels of thought process that goes into it then? Or what is the they, cover, they cover broad uh, kind of businesses as well and psychology and so many things. So, and all of them, they are uh, losers because they don't do it for themselves. They keep doing it for other people because they cannot make money for themselves with their bachelor's degrees. I came from three days why people need uh, even school education. I was just saying like to somebody serious in the country here, I said, in 10 years, people will not go to school because all the information are out there on Google. So it doesn't matter uh, what kind of education you have, it has to be different. So, um, I want to uh, talk a little bit about this, uh, how to drive traffic and how to talk about Google. Uh, I think we, we covered a little bit about the initial things, okay? So, so, 
So if we agree that these are the people where we supposed to send this marketing material to, and we supposed to lead them to a discussion or to sign up. So where do I find these people? Where do I find them? And this goes back to how we define our own general. So who, who is your general audience who will be interested in your product before it became an audience of yours? So be your avatar then, right? Who are your avatars? Yeah. Who are your avatars? Who are the the audience? Who are, what is the characteristics of somebody who will buy here? So I can know. I can. I can. I will know if they don't know about me at all. Where generally they will hang around. Okay. Because if I know where they will, I can meet them. I will be able to take them through the chain. So many of us will talk about having, or many of us will approach with advertisement and uh, Facebook advertisement, uh, Google ad, and whatever. So the question is Facebook, Google ad, are this is where your customers are? You will get these guys who will charge you 500 bucks a month or 300 dollars a month, and they say, this is what you will do, Facebook and Google and whatever. So are your customers av available in this category? Do we have to research that? I guess through trade publications, like industry trade publications. Somebody saying trade publications. No, the question to you, you have you, 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 you mentioned at the very beginning that you have a product which was a flyer, that's right, at the very beginning of this lecture. Uh, so do you have, do you know where your customers are? So can you answer the question on your, on your sheet? Are your customers are on Facebook? Yes or no? Are your customers buying through Google search? How do you know if the customers are buying through Google search? Well, of course they will be searching. I mean, they don't have to buy through Google search, but they just search through Google search. And if they're- So how there, do we know this? How do we know this? Yeah. Google Analytics. We got, yeah, we got Google Analytics that will tell you if anybody's clicking on your website or what word keywords. So before, yeah, before this, there's something called the Keyword Planner. And this keyword planner will tell you exactly what people search for yeah. and how many search will happen per month. So not all of our businesses are available on Google search. Do like I business know. coaching, for example, nobody's buying business coaching by searching on Google. What are they searching for? I don't know what they are searching for. You can ask them when you have your customers. So how do you know they're not searching for business coaching? Because when I go to keyword planner, yeah. it will tell me exactly how many, it will give me a range for how many people have been typing this particular word in a specific region Fair enough. in the last six, seven years now. Yeah, no, nobody really knows that they need a business or a personal life coach. So until the point I want to say is if you sell insurance, if somebody here is selling insurance business, insurance people will look for insurance uh, quotes online. If you are selling, uh, if you are, uh, selling uh, uh, travel packages, People are looking to book online. How many of you here will book airline with uh, uh, in an office right now? How many will walk to uh, co-op uh, travel uh, travel clinic or co-op uh, travel uh, because co-op has a travel a travel agency, right? How many will go there to book an airline ticket? Because they also charge you like twenty five. Away from they charge you, how many will do it? The ones that want a pre-planned package. Okay. Yeah, more yeah, of a vacation. Vacation. Leave. That's right. That through, uh, more of a no. vacation. Yeah, but the, the uh, private planners do more of a concierge service, so it's everything's taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So this is the only class of people who will go there. Airbnb is going to change that by the way. So it's a rich account. The point I want to make is <laughs> the point. I, the point I want to make is 
before you consider go before you consider SEO because there are people I met they spend thousands of dollars on SEO and their business cannot sell online and the way for me to prove to them is basically I pulled out the keyword planner I said okay so tell me three to five words describing your business we put them in the keyword planner we found the search are between 10 to 100 100 to a thousand or so so when your searches are 10 to 100 a month usually we go with which number the 10 to be on the safe side that's right so when there are 10 searches in 30 days on uh, business coaches or business advisors or uh, life coaches do you really care about people coming to you from Google if there is 10 searches a month okay on the other hand people will say if there is only 10 and you have your advertisements there most likely they will click on it uh, so there are this other angle to it however these businesses are not sold through straightforward searches right. okay. these businesses they don't sell products uh, same for uh, lawyers same by the way for insurance courts right now because insurance have been gone away from Google because they have these trusted groups now so people will go there grab your name and then they will go out to their friends on, on Facebook Oh, so they look for your company name on Google to see what you're about, and there they will drive to the next funnel. And this is comes back to the to my uh, proposition as well: is you must have a website because people anyway will search for you, but they will not buy you from there. If you have no website, if you only wants to work on Facebook pages, like everybody's trying to sell right now, because all what they do is Facebook, is not the right strategy. You must have a decent website. Because if people want to find the information about you, they find the information about you. You must be able to participate in some of the activities which will be relevant. If your business can sell through Google Analytics, it sells through Google Analytics. It's great. But most likely, majority of the business around here are not selling through Google or through uh, Facebook. I've found when I... Google retirement planning is a lot of financial planners come up. There's nothing about lifestyle planners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Financial planners is one of them. Accounting and bookkeeping is one of them, which is still live on Google. Which is uh, not. Uh, and when they do financial planners and the, and the people will make phone calls, people will not buy right away. So the idea is to have discussions, right? So when people will call, will send an email asking for information or so, the idea of presence here is to have the discussions or not to do the sign up. Okay. So when we talked about what the strategies about Facebook or Google, you must be able, you people must be able to find you. However, don't consider SEOs and if you don't have a rationale of doing it. There are so many people out there, they want to charge you 500 bucks a month to run your SEO, but they are not responsible. If I will go like uh, Randy, for example, will say, I will not ask you, you don't come and run my SEO. Get me the customer and I will pay you 50% of what I make. And he makes about $40,000 average per sign up. So you'll get $20,000. He said no marketing company will jump on this offer. Why? Because everybody knows that the SEOs are just SEOs. I do it for people who wants me to do it, and I tell them this because if you want to do it, we can we can do it. If you don't want to, if you want to be more more uh, proactive in a different way, it can be done in a different way. So I guess my when I said drive traffic uh, to my event, <coughs> uh, I think you you made a convincing point that paying somebody to on search basis may not likely, depending on your particular program, may not likely get you the results you want. So how do you how do you drive people to the traffic? We can talk about that. We can talk about how we drive people. This is the whole discussion we'll have right now, is how, how we can drive people and how we can collect information and how we can get people to do that. But the, the first qualifi qualifi qualifier right now, are you selling through Google? 
search. Are you will have some selling here means you have a discussion or buy right away. So whenever we say conversion at this point, so I would say can you create a discussion by a phone or by a follow up? Or can you get people to, to pay you money and sign right away? So these are the two levels of right. So Google will not get to, to that directly. I'm convinced of that based on our discussion. You are? Will not get to do that first phone call. Like not not in not in my business. I just, okay, my business it's it's right up there. Yeah. I've Yours in psycholo psychology psychology services. Right. Yeah, because, and, and the SEO is really important to me because organically it puts me up at a yeah. higher level. So this may be the only business on this table. No, mine as well. Yeah. I, who's 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 Googling elevators? We sold one in Edmonton just everyone. From a Google? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's how they found us. Yeah. We are not here to argue. We are here just to. We are here just to. Friday, I haven't told you about it. We are. We are here to expose the idea, and they come and say, what? Which part of this is relevant to me, and what are the other considerations? Because if you only see Google as the way of doing it, you are actually overseeing the rest of the ninety percent of the business around you. Do you need to be cautious and aware of everybody else? My position is yes, because. Google may change in a few years. And uh, we have now a, a very strong proposition that SEO is dead. There might so be no internet. The SEO? Huh? There might be no internet. Well, because of that. There uh, might all be SEO. apps and PDFs. I don't know. Everybody I, wants to be so secure. I'm looking forward for this time. I'm just putting a, a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> all these kids okay, are let's just get back to business. Let's just, <laughs> let's just get back to business. Did you sort of prep us now? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Europe. No. Sorry? I'm working on an SEO. Our experience. Okay. Okay. So let's just go back to the same topic and then so we don't get confusion. So where can we, f the question is, where can I find my general to give them information to, to most likely to convert to be my audience? People believe Google, SEO and Google searches is one good source for that. You must qualify. If you are not in the insurance business, if you are not in the financial business, bookkeeping, accounting, maybe elevators. If you are not in these businesses, you can look at your keywords, key planners, and figure out what people searching on Google. It can give you actually bear district, not not bear city. Like bear, if you want to say Edgemont, it will tell you who in Edgemont searching what. So is that, where is this planner available? On Google. Okay. Okay. Google knows everything. No? Don't ask me. Yeah, you can buy a, a piece, it's a, it's a white thing, and you walk, you walk in and say, hi Google, what's my mood today? It will, it's, it's crazy. They have professional clubs now too, like, so okay. it's like county club association. Many of us here who are in the feeler, feeling kind of business, will believe their customers are hanging around Facebook. So if you are in the site, in the, uh, law of attractions in the train in the in this kind of training many of your customers will be around Facebook but are these customers buying through Facebook ad not necessary because these customers if you consider them without I mean there I'm, I'm more of a general generalized ideas if your customers are feelers most likely they need to be able they only sign when somebody else is referring them. When they see an ad, they will not sign. So you need to build to participate in different groups by sharing information so these people will feel good about it. Okay? What about other forums? On, on Facebook, then, if we, were, if we were to have a post that says, whatever, our elevators are lovely, um, they're obviously not going to buy off of that, but what our goal is is for them to go to the web page because obviously to get more information. Okay, and so uh, does that mean we would have we should have our our URL on every si almost on every single post that we then do? Yes, it's the goal of them to go to your website. Yes. To call that however, That's however, I want to I want to I want to in your business I want to just make things very clear in your business, and I believe majority of us knows each one business now. In your business, you have different cus you have customers who are homeowners and you have customers who are builders and contractors so builder and contractor I doubt that you'll get them on Facebook never but homeowners and users yep all the time you can reach them on Facebook yeah agree 100% that's right small business owners 
will participate, millennia in particular will participate in, in Facebook groups. So if you have a package for young generation on a business consultation, business uh, training, business coaching aspect of business, participating in Facebook groups might be more attractive and more beneficial to get customers than uh, Google uh, search. The question is, what are other social media available for that? LinkedIn. LinkedIn. There are 152 different social media. Oh, wow. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. There are 152. Wow. Okay. And there are 152. I know there are 152 because I'm active on 152. Oh, wow. And and we, have, we have a for the sorry for the general contractors builders those sorts of people we will get those on LinkedIn. You get you, you can get this on LinkedIn. Now what is where on LinkedIn these guys will talk? You will be able to find some forums and some groups where these people actually will be active. So once you figure out which platform you target, you cannot target all by the way. Just. When you be a $100 million business, you can, because you'll have three, four people to each one of these platforms. You can have initial target for three or four. Uh, however, you must, you must make sure, if you want to talk about the strategy, you want to you wanna make sure you are where these people are. Now, there are some other venues which we always ignore. There are annual events, and uh, there are some events in town that you can attend. So um, entrepreneurship uh, centers events, there are some meetups, right? There are some uh, acti events like uh, uh, Startup Calgary, if you do business, uh, if, if you are looking for small business, startup business support, there's a Startup Calgary, there are few events around town. Uh, for the builders, there is the, the association or the community events will happen which you can get it from the building association of, it's called builder association? Building association. Or construction association, sorry, construction association. They have a very nice beer mugs, by the way. <laughs> I, had, I, I, I got two of them and we love them, they're so, <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. So you may, you may also consider the events. So the target now is to have uh, flyers or brochures or, or business cards and to lead to what? Discussion. To discussion. Okay, so what are the strategies I can implement inside these activities to have this movement to the discussion? Is sending a flyer right away is a good thing? Online? It, online. We've got a video, like an introductory video of who you are. So, should I send a flyer right away or should I implement a different strategy where I have a, a video or I have a report or I have a white paper first and then I run through a campaign to get them from here to have a discussion? Which one should I use? Sign up. Like a sign up, like, the, like a lead uh, magnet yeah. thing, you know? Which one should I use? It's a function of how urgent you want to get into this level and the function of how much you offer and what you are looking for. So if I have an event coming in three weeks, do I have time to run an email campaign? Most likely not. Because in three weeks, people will not, people set up their calendar six weeks ahead. So I cannot get uh, leads and send them information. So it's a function of what you're exactly doing and what you want to get. So if you have an event right away, you may not want to have a lead capture and keep this email and keep sending them information. You just want to get the invitation right away. If you are, if you want to just create a mailing list, so you create list of audience, you can use different strategy. I am not against, I'm not in favor. I'm just saying, if you have an immediate offer, you may not have the time, and it might not be the right strategy to create an email list first. And sign up. Okay? Any questions? So is it a good strategy?
strategy that initially if they don't know who you are that information to them just showing your in a It's a function of what you are selling. It's a function of what you are selling. How many of us went to workshops and seminars without even knowing what's uh, basic bananas is? Basic what? Banana. It's a marketing group in town. How many of us went to seminars and workshops without knowing the guys? How many meetups did you go to without knowing anybody? So fall in love with people, or I call it fall in love by collecting their emails and sending the first uh, uh, lead magnet, then the second one, then qualifying them. This falling in love mechanism is good for people who implement it to make money. However, it's not effective for all businesses. Like in your business, will you send a, a package, then send another package, then make a phone call, then go for a meeting, then send another package? No. It just does not work for every business. We can talk about why in, in, the, in the second part after the break, we can talk about what marketing strategies and we can discuss it around the table, what are the boundaries and what people can do here and there for what reason. However, don't go under the water and say, yeah, I'm I wanna run an email campaign. Why? Because this guy is running an email campaign. Oh, my offer doesn't need an email campaign. You have to be sure that email campaign is rational to what you do. Now, when you sell a $30,000, $50,000 solutions, you need to build the trust. People need to know you. People need to have invitations. This is a different model. But if I want to offer a seminar or a workshop right away, the trust is not necessary because people can sign up for so many things without building the trust. Okay? So don't confuse an offer with a global business strategy. Here we, we talk about marketing your offer, not marketing your business. Okay? There's a difference between marketing my offer and marketing my business. For your business, you need list of clients, you need list of audience, you need emailing list of everything. But if I have an offer here, So we are here to market one offer. We are not here to market the global business. Because I know when we start the discussion, people will get confused. So now I don't need to do that. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So can we have a break with the confusion? <laughs> copyright 2017 Win Your Brand. All rights reserved. This video is subject to copyright owned by Win Your Brand. Any reproduction or republication of all or part of this video is expressly prohibited, unless when your brand has explicitly granted its prior written consent all other rights reserved.